Hi bestie, thank you for dropping by. I hope you're having a nice day. For today, I thought I would share some insights and maybe some tips about uh, sizing um, your Van Cleef & Arpels Alhambra, a vintage Alhambra bracelet. Uh, some, maybe some wear and tear on, on how I'm doing with my bracelet so far. And the overall, um, just, just some ideas to maybe help you along if you've maybe decided that you're going to take the plunge and get your your first bracelet and now you're trying to think about how do i go about adjusting the size of my bracelet to fit to fit my wrist properly like how 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 short should it be what's the proper size is there like you know some um exact science to it so it's really very uh very easy you know they've made the the process very straightforward very simple so what are you seeing here is my guilloche vintage alhambra five motif bracelet for me uh i have my my wrist is five and a half inches i have a, a small wrist and then here so when i after i purchased it so here five five and a half so I guess maybe I would say smaller than average uh, after I purchased it um, I, I went in store to to buy it and then afterwards to pick it up I had to wait uh, a few weeks before I was able to get my order and then I um, the, the SA assisted me in, in getting the best measurement for me and then afterwards they, they did the resizing and then I received this back, I think uh, just a little under two weeks after that. So to get into the details, um, I had requested for, I ended up requesting for four pairs of links to be taken out. So they always would take out links in pairs. They would never just take out one. Uh, single link so it's always in pairs and they had um, the, the way they go about it is they take a pair out of each gap so for me it was out of each gap I ended up with uh, seven inches uh, of length on my bracelet and this this is the perfect length for me uh, it falls just right i would say just at the base of my thumb it doesn't like fall too low i would say like too low on your hand is is impractical you know it's going to be loose i would say it, it would like come off too easily and you don't want that um i have a bit of um on the smallest part of my wrist there is there is some space so there you can see but for me i i like the movement you know it slides let me start a little bit it slides um i feel the movement is natural i like how it slides up and down my wrist as i move there was a measurement where the next one after this but i felt it was like too tight it wasn't it wasn't moving too much i i like i like the uh i like the flow of movement so i preferred i ended up with this with this setting for mine and I would just recommend uh, when I went in for measurement, I, I had on other um, other bracelets that I already owned. So it's really just, you know, whatever, it, whatever you're comfortable with already, you just stay on the same track. You know, this is just like any other bracelet when you think about it. Um, you don't need to overthink in terms of, you know, sizing. You just don't want it to like slip out of your hand and you don't want it to be too tight at least for me that was my preference so when i was in the store there they do have something um you know i would call measuring bracelets i would just lay that out here i printed these uh true to size so they have four recommended sizes this first one was uh was too big for me so i didn't go with that and what they do here is they remove two links in the, from the first gap and then another two links from the last gap. 
So I say, you know, two links, and then now you see they remove it from two gaps. They always go in an even number. So, you know, they they are customizing the, the, the size for you, but they don't customize and accommodate any random request that you might have. They still have certain standards that customers are expected to follow. So this is the one that I went with. And again, this is where they removed a pair here, two links, two links, two links, two links. They removed a total of four pairs or eight links. And that left, that left me with a seven inch long bracelet. And that is the, the size that is perfect for me. Next step down is after removing two from each gap, they remove yet another two from the first, from the last. So that's their pattern. They remove from the edges first, and then they remove from each gap. They remove from the edges again. So this is already eight, uh, this is already four pairs. So that's another two pairs that they're taking off. And then the smallest setting that they um, that they accommodate is a total of the now four pairs, uh, sorry, four links or two pairs from each gap. So obviously, like when you compare this and this, like this is really short. I compared between the first, second, and the third. So this was too long for me. And this ended up being too short, like too tight, I'm sorry. It was too tight, it wasn't like moving, it felt like it was stuck on my wrist and I didn't really like the feel of it. I just like, I just like to, I just prefer to allow it to move freely. So again, you know, it's really up to you, but this is a rough idea of like the process, how they do it. So, and, and a side note to that, I would really recommend, you know, I know not everybody has a store nearby in the city where they live, but if you do, you should definitely go into the store, have a full Lux experience. Um, you, you, obviously, you're not going to have this opportunity when you do it online. You're going to have to... Uh, actually, I'm not sure what the online process would be. What the process would be if you purchased your bracelet online. So I'm not going to speak about that. But at the store, you know, you set, I set an appointment with my SA... I visited, um, I usually prefer Sundays like around noon, uh, I feel like they're less busy at that time, um, you know, I, I have a quick chat with my very friendly SA, and then I took my time to decide, I didn't need to be rushed, you know, I tried on all these sizes, and <clears throat> until I was comfortable, and then he took down my preference, and I'm just trying to take this off to latest here as well. Took down my preference and then um, that was it. And the next time, like he just um, informed me that my bracelet was ready to be picked up. So, you know, just, just do this. This will give you, I feel, you know, this is the, this is the best thing that you can do if you have zero idea how, how long your bracelet or how short your bracelet should be. So this is the best way get yourself uh, to a store you know hopefully that's not like a, an impossibility for you uh, and then what else uh, with regards to wear and tear so let me make a quick mention about that so first I got the uh, carnelian um, and then afterwards I because I had to wait some time for my DOJ order to come in. So for the carnelian, I would say like this bracelet, this item is just top notch. In quality, uh, daily wear, I wear this every day. Uh, I, although I don't, I don't wear it in the shower. Even though it's a hardy stone, it's a stronger stone compared to the mother of pearl. Um, but still, I would rather just keep it away from chemicals and, you know, all these things we use in the shower. So, uh, I, I don't, um, <clears throat> I don't expose them like that. I just take it off and put it back on. The lobster clasp, if you have no experience with this, can be a bit of a struggle. 
Um, it can be a, an acquired skill. It's not that easy to put on, honestly. But um, after some time, you, you, you do get used to it. So I, I wouldn't say that it's that bad. You just find the technique that works for you and that's it. <laughs> Uh, as for the guilloche, this one, I do not wear her every day. Um, I, I've worn, worn her for a long trip and I do notice that there are now some minor scratches. You know, it's, I wouldn't say that this is exactly how, uh, exactly the same state when I got her from the store. And really, it's not realistic to expect that. Like, gold is a very soft and malleable metal so it's just absolutely normal for some scratches to appear and you should just not have any unnatural expectation that when you bought it at the store five years ago that your bracelet is still going to look exactly like that you just need to be aware you know it's still it's still going to be pretty it's still going to be shiny it's not um, altering the beauty in any way so i don't think there's really any cause for concern i would just recommend um when you're you know if you do some rough activities like you're going hiking <laughs> obviously that's not really a place to be wearing fine jewelry anyway uh when you're me um i noticed when i was traveling obviously i had my luggage um i had to like I would sometimes like I feel like scratch it against the zipper which like and then suddenly I would realize like oh well, I should be more careful like this really requires a bit more mindfulness when you're wearing it whereas with the carnelian like I said I wear it every day uh, I might rub it you know on my clo uh, against my clothes my bag or whatever I'm holding etc and I don't really get concerned I don't get worried there are no scratches on the stone still uh, same uh, when, when I when I f first got it I'm really really happy with this purchase and even though uh, I know that I, I bought these separately and now there is the carnelian and guilloche combination still I don't feel like I missed out I don't feel like I would have bought that to begin with because knowing how the guilloche would be a bit more sensitive than usual i then would not be wearing that bracelet every day and i do enjoy wearing the carnelian every day so that's just some quick insights for you uh, i hope this helps you if um, if you have any other questions you have concerns you have some uh, anything that you're thinking about before making your purchase or you know um, whatever comes to mind just post a comment post some questions there uh, and let me know what else you would like to see here on my channel and anything that I can be helpful with I would certainly um, try to post something for you so that's it again thank you for dropping by I hope you could, um, you know, share, like, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And that's it. See you again next time. Bye.